you prosecuted uh, multiple BMPs, BTRs. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm Jim Hansen of the Center for Security Policy. Welcome to the Free Fire Zone. Last week was a banner one for global jihad. And amidst all the ink spilled over all the blood that was spilled, one thing was abundantly clear. The free world has no answer for Islamist savagery. The Center for Security Policy has some help coming for that. But first, let's review the recent carnage. Al-Qaeda bankrolled the blasphemy executions of the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists in Paris, while the Islamic State got credit for a supporting slaughter at a nearby kosher deli. And the female terrorists from that crew even headed for Syria to take refuge in their caliphate. And ISIS also started filling the vacuum we are leaving in Afghanistan. But you can't really blame them for that. I mean, it worked so well for them the first time after Obama's cut and run from Iraq. Sadly, that wasn't even the Islamists' greatest crime against humanity. Boko Haram, the ISIS of Africa, killed 2,000 people this week. I'm gonna say that again, because I'm pretty sure it got missed in all the hubbub and uproar. Boko Haram killed 2,000 black Africans who didn't share their Muslim religion. That would be bad enough, but Boko Haram now controls more territory than ISIS. They have their own caliphate, and they're running neck and neck with the Islamic State in cutting necks. Wake up, people. This is a global jihad. It doesn't matter what name they use or what flag they fly. They all have one common mission, submission, and their preferred method is killing infidels to encourage the others. Our feckless president couldn't even bring himself to join the rest of the free world marching to protest the murders of those cartoonists. Our policy regarding the multiple genocides perpetrated all across Africa by Islamists is... Seriously, I have no idea, and neither does he. Shades of the audacity of Tope when he admitted he had no clue what to do about the Islamic State. We don't have a strategy yet. We can't roll tanks or drop paratroopers everywhere the jihadis are lopping heads off, but we can at least have the intestinal fortitude and moral clarity to call them out for what they are, Islamist extremists bent on subjugating the free world under an iron sandal. But apparently even calling them Islamic is too much for this craven administration. ISIL is not Islamic. They're planning more attacks right now all over the world. And our lack of will to confront or even name the threat we're facing pretty much guarantees they'll eventually hit us again here in the United States. Obama may not have a strategy, but the Center for Security Policy sure does. And we're gonna drop it like a smart bomb noon this Friday at the National Press Club in DC. Contact the Center if you'd like to be there. I'm Jim Hansen, and you've been in the Free Fire Zone. Five, five, good impact. And uh, one, seven, one, six, now before pushing. One. And your spot straight down, three feet. There's two. And one, hit you.